Like, we set a goal out. Come on, man, let's get five in a row. After five in a row, let's go get five more. I mean, this is the one of the five. Like, we got a lot more work to do. It's going to be a crazy road trip, and like, we're going to be West Coast. But, like, I think this just gave, you know, this got to give these superstar guys, like, confidence that, okay, cool, I can get right, make sure my body is good, and the team go hold it down. Man, dang, man, he was killing Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very special episode Mm. of the Pat Bev Pod with Roan. Right. We're 75 episodes deep into this thing, and today is maybe the most momentous one of all of them. Love that word. Before I say another word, subscribe to the pod. You're doing yourself a disservice if you're not liking, commenting, upvoting, and subscribing to the pod. Hey, subscribe to the motherfucking pod, and if you're a kid, mother freaking pod, okay? Listen to your parents, but subscribe. With all that aside, subscribe. I'd like to welcome our guest for today's show. Okay, say that. Yes. Well, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Patrick Beverly. <laughs> Look, gang. Hey, thanks for having me. Hey, welcome to the show, Pat. Love, love, thanks for having You'll me. You'll love this show because mostly it's about you. Hey, so <laughs> it's not, hey, listen, I be watching the show. I can't, I can't take my eyes off it. You, you guys do a hell of a job. It's, it's a, it's an, it's an amazing. You guys hit everything. I mean, if it was something I can like point on to get better at. I really can't. You guys talk about everything, relationships. I love the black and white. I love the basketball talk. I love you rapping wrong. Like, I love everything about it. You guys, man, y'all on y'all on some shit. I'm happy. Well, for that's that. crazy because the respect is so mutual. And I think that we're catching you right at the hottest moment, maybe of your fucking career right nah, now. I think no, nah, life. Maybe of your life. I haven't known you for your entire you life. But- like, obviously I have children, you know what I'm saying? But besides that, when it comes to like career wise and job wise, like, you know, I have a bomb ass podcast, man. Right. I have a bomb ass host. Like, right. like, like uh, I I I played on several teams last several years. Great teams. Like, I've been fucking balling this year. I've been really cooking shit. Well, I don't know where to start, but I think numbers are something that really can't ever lie. Yeah, yeah. Eight and two. Yeah. Eight and two since Pat Bev has joined the Milwaukee Bucks. Hey, listen. Phenomenal team. A group of, like, want like, to win at the highest level. Winners. Mindset is great. The focus is great. Like, man, this team was good before I got here, man. I was just, you know, I'm just fortunate to be in this situation. But this team was this team was pretty stacked before I got here. I'm just happy we went in right now. But you put a triple A in the back <laughs> and suddenly it's Energizer bunnying all over the city of Milwaukee. For sure, but it's like that with every team I go to, like humbly. Yeah, I mean, 14-9 and nine last year when you joined the Bulls. Sixers start off super hot this year. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it ain't, a, you know, like a surprise like I understand like what I what I bring to the game of basketball. Like I understand I don't miss days. You feel me? I don't I don't I don't like uh plug in other things and other vices uh, for basketball on my podcast. Like I put this first. Like so it's not it's not a surprise that like I'm playing well and the pod is going well. Like I work my ass off for this shit. I'm uh like all joking aside, I'm literally like giddy right now though i'm like uh just so genuinely excited because i know coming to a new team is uh a really a, a life-changing life-altering thing yeah and you're a new kid backpack no 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 but so like some some kids they go to school you feel me like some kids go to school and it's like you know they try to they try to fit in like i came here to win you feel me like yeah i'm the new kid in school but like like my backpack Dior and my J's, they Jordan ones, Spider Man editions, and they're squeaking for real. Like, like yeah, I'm the fly new kid. Like I'm, I'm, I'm the cool new kid. So like, man, I just been putting this locker room to like, and it's been great. Everybody's hooping. Like you can talk to everybody. You know, everyone's not extra coach. You can like have tough conversations. You can talk shit. Bobby Porter's has been fucking. Baller. Hey, cool. Get out. Get out. <laughs> hey, come on, man. Get the dogs, man. Come on. It's but this is a dog episode. But and this is really what this is, bro. No, the dogs just come flocking. Shout out to Bobby Porter's man. He was hooping. That's a dog. Like you know, what I'm saying. Shout out to Dane. That's a dog. So so if people don't know, we're coming right off the heels of beating the Los Angeles Clippers, and this game is special for a couple reasons. This game is special because 
Tonight, the Milwaukee Bucks are playing without Giannis. And you don't expect as much out of a team when a super duper star, multiple time MVP isn't playing. No, if I all due respect, like, nah. One no other way. One no other way. Like we set a goal out. Come on, man, let's get five in a row. After five in a row, let's go get five more. I mean, this is the one of the five. Like we got a lot more work to do. It's gonna be a crazy road trip. And like we're gonna be West Coast. But like I think this just gave, you know, this gotta give these superstar guys like confidence that okay, cool, I can get right, make sure my body is good, and the team go hold it down. Man, dang, man, he was killing. Could nobody guard him. Could nobody stop him. A light 40. Light 40. And he missed open chippies. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just vibing. We we tough. Like, we're we're a tough team. We ain't backing down from nobody. Brooke Lopez is great. Like, A.J. Green, I love him. Talk about A.J. Green, man. For real, man, got a steal. But I knew it, though. I knew it. I go to every chapel, A.J. there. Every chapel. Like, so. A man of faith. Yeah, I'm a man of faith. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Pat, man, you got any churches? Uh, 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 that you want to go to out here, let me know. I got, I'm, I'll text you the options. So that doesn't surprise me at all. Man of faith, that doesn't surprise me at all. Come in game, cold. But I tell, we close huddle with Chicago Bulls. I say, hey, hey, before we close, AJ, man, you won us that game. Straight up, you won us that game. Okay, cool. Fast forward, we play Clippers. He won us that game. Instant, instant. Come in, Steel, boy is steel. I'm so happy for him. So happy for him. I mean, as a guy who has balls yourself, you can balls recognize balls. <laughs> right. That dude has balls. No, steel. You hear me saying it? I'm saying it without saying it. Well, I'm saying it, bro. <laughs> He's the man of steel. For real. No Clark Kent. No, for real. He's steel. pulling up from five feet beyond the three point line. <sighs> yeah. Just. It don't surprise in me. the biggest moments of the game. Don't surprise me. But the Clippers game wasn't uh, a wire to wire win for the Bucks. You guys were down early. You guys were down first, second, yeah. third quarter. Kept fighting. But there was no point where it completely swept away. Even it was a fifteen point deficit at one point, and you guys said, "You know what? We're still going to stay in this game." What was the conversations that are happening within the huddle? Nothing. It seemed like there was a lot of intensity. No, nothing, nothing. It was just more like. All right, man, listen. We see they double team and dang. All right, when they double team, be ready to shoot. Then they disrespect me. They got fucking big Zubak on me. This this disrespecting me. But I'm like, cool. I know how the game gonna end up. I'm gonna get a big shot somewhere around the game. Just let me, if I'm open, let me, you know, stay confident, squeeze that thing. All right, cool. Um, so they tried to muck up the game. We went zone. We kind of mucked up the game. You know, I mean, it was just it was just one of those games. I mean, Dane made some great plays. Like when we needed a bucket, Dane was right there. Then Bobby, we had an inside presence, and Bobby Porters was doing his thing in the post. So they kind of had the double Bobby Porters, and they kind of had the double Dame. So it gave, you know, the others a ton of fucking shots, bro. It's just up to you to knock them down. The internet is saying it's not fair for you and Bobby Porters to be on the same team. The That's intensity, the intensity that the two of you bring. Woo pig. Woo pig. Woo That's Arkansas pig, shit. pig, man. That's Razorback, Razorback shit. Razorback shit. I mean, as you guys are taking the lead late in the game, the way that both of you are going to different corners of the court unridden, to charge unridden, up. Unridden. Unridden. Just absolutely charging up. we do this up. every game. Yeah. We do this every game. We did it with the Bulls. We did it when we played Charlotte. Man, I like to turn up, Bob. You like to turn up. Fuck it. Do your thing. I'll beat you in the middle somewhere. It's a vibe, man. It's really a vibe, man. It's been, it's been, it's been so exciting. So happy. Um to just go out there and compete with this team, bro. The uh, the Bucks stayed really close throughout the entire fourth quarter. What about Doc, though? Good God, what about Doc? What about Doc? Talk about Doc, bro. Like, come on, like, talk about Doc, the, 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 the shit he was doing all game. What was he doing? Like, he was, his ATOs, how they've been, like, over this, over this span, right? Like, I mean, he just draws up nice shit, easy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he gets guys buckets where they need to get it. He sees the game as a player. Like, I'm running back. Yeah, man, that's that's good. But post Bobby, they can't stop Bobby. And, like, that's what we did towards the end of it. And it was phenomenal. I mean, but just, I mean, just him in the locker room. Like, that's easy. That's coach shit. Like, you do that normally. But just him in the locker room. Him at, you know, practice, at shoot around. Like, him in film. Like, obviously, you know, we got my main man, Rex, who does defense. That's my dude, man. Who's Rex? Is he the bald bro? Yeah, that's my dog. I saw you guys having a heated conversation yeah. on the sideline. Oh, no, no, no. Positivity. No, no, no. We're always heated. Yeah. We're always heated. Intensity. I like, I like to say that I gave Rex a certain defense. He likes to say that 
you did me. I, you didn't do that. I just used you in a different way. So we go back and forth a lot. But that's my that's my dog, Rex. You never told the story last podcast about you calling the zone. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doc, ooh, I, I'm so happy they missed Doc. was going to choke shit out of me. <laughs> but look, so you got to understand, right? And I want y'all to listen, right? I want y'all to really, like, hear me out, right? So Rex, right, he was the offensive coach with OKC when me and that Russell Westbrook ha- shit happened, right? So instantly in his mind, he's like, yeah, man, for sure. That's, you know, they had a chance to win a championship. People, you know, like to blame me for it. Obviously, the coach, you know, who did the offense, he fucked playing that motherfucker, Pat Bell. Fast forward, he's a defensive coach with Doc and the Clippers when I'm there. So you got to understand, like, I don't even know he's the offensive coach until then. So, you know, he probably walking around with some shit on his chest. The first coach I ever got first team all these defensive with. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about we used to bark and fight at each other and, and argue with each other and disagree a ton and you fucking be a player let me fucking coach well you fucking coach the right way because that shit ain't you know what I'm saying like and then this year he has no job mm. and I, I see him he man I came to see you like man Rex I miss you so much man I'm, he man what you think I mean don't worry about it. you go get a job like man you go coach again bro he man I don't know man you know NBA's changed I mean Rex you great at your job fast forward man back in Milwaukee together like, it's the shit that within this basketball shit that a lot of people don't talk about. So shout out to Rex. Yeah, you guys were uh, obviously communicating well. He's elite, too. He's elite. He's an elite coach. It seems like Doc also, I mean, he knows when to charge you up. And it's almost like you're a power up. Or like in a video game, it's like the cheat code. When do we put in Pat Bev? Hey, but he be calling me out in film. I, he, I, he be cursing me the fuck out. Doc I love, does? But I know our relationship, so it ain't like, you feel me? Like, Give I me an, what did he curse you out for? Give me an hey, example. Pat Bev, you got you know, you to stop doing your own shit. I, yeah, Doc, but yeah, motherfucker, but you're the only person that thinks that not everybody else. I, yeah, you're right, Doc. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so like, I, it's just me and him got a crazy Your own way. shit on offense or defense? Go. Oh, <laughs> fuck that. Uh, doc, man, what you mean they can't guard me? Go through Dame, Pat. You're right, you're right. My bad, Doc, my bad. <laughs> Dame is Dame. <laughs> love, Let love, Dame be Dame. Love, 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 but when love. you're hitting <laughs> catch and shoots, when you're hitting step backs off dribble, when you're hitting floaters in the lane, when you're hitting the end ones, it's like you have to have some confidence in your offensive game. No, I've been hooping. I like I you feel me like humbly too like I've been hooping like I know exactly what the bigs will do I know what the rotation is like my mind is ahead of ahead of the game like I know exactly what's going on okay Giannis in the game let me get some corner threes up I I work on it all the time so like I'm fucking hooping but I've been hooping all year too but like it's just I'm happy to do it with, with a winning team you know what I'm saying like I'm happy to do it while winning you know talk about the three that you hit to tie the game tonight like though coach go up to me yeah man you got some, man, that's tough. Oh, come on, man. Steal. You know me. What you mean? Dung. Steal. They literally got Zubak disrespecting me all game. Okay, I got something for you just for doing that, T-Lou. Big time corner three. And it's on Paul George. But you got to think like, man, me and Paul George, we in my fucking grease together. Girls, his wife, you feel me? Like, my girl, like, we in that motherfucker, like, kicking it, Big Zoo, his wife, Pat Patterson, his, like, his wife, like, we having our way. We family chilling. vibe. Big family vibes. Like, we're playing basketball without a basketball. Let the women shop. Yeah, Pat, I've been working on the move. Why, for who? He, man, next time we play, we, I'm a, I got this move for you. I man, you better put that move up. P- Let me see it. So, we, I'm literally guarding them. I got on motherfucking, um, Dior swim trunks, this motherfucker sandals out, toes out. He got on the damn near the same thing, the white t-shirts that we just guard each other. No basketball. In Greece. Did he get the move off? Hell no. Nah. You know, in the game. I, yeah, let me see that weak ass move you was talking about. Yeah, it's about, I'm about to show you right now. We got a bucket. It was a curl screen off a layup. Like, his buckets are always plays with all, off me, never, never with the ball, because I'm going to take that shit. You had one, I didn't know if it was a steal or a block. Yeah, a, a low swipe always block. So that was a block? Yeah. That went down as a block? One block. Because he didn't even have the... No, yeah, I know you. You like to bring the ball down. You like to bring the ball down. My hand will be right there waiting on you. I know you personally. But that's my man. Today was all get lost in the game hoop vibes. Like, you feel me? Like, all hoop vibes. Like, the guys that was on the floor and the guys that played, it was like all just like, it felt like you was summertime hoop. Rico Hines hoop. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the vibe it felt like today. I mean, since the All-Star break, there's been an intimate familiarity with every team you play against. You know 
the Timberwolves. You know the 76ers. Yeah. You know the Clippers. You know them well. You know the Bulls. You think you think, you know how hard that is? Like understanding that, understanding your relationships, understanding like your impact you had on the team to come back and like to stay focused, all the distractions that come with the city, all the distractions that come with the team, right? Obviously, I have a great fucking podcast. So, okay, cool. They rating the clown my shit if we lose a couple games. Like, so the pressure with it, like, man, it's light, though. I can't wait to hoop. You poked a ball out of Paul George's hand. Man, first, let me set the tone. Ah, get off me. Okay, so what? Give me tech. Fuck that. I'm in this bitch. Did they to you? No, nah, they bet not. I'm Pat Bill. Because <laughs> I was like, damn, Pat Bill episode, man. They I got didn't... me fucked up, man. Yeah, they didn't Straight know. Up. And they, they got a nerd to have me on the minimum. Think about that. That's cold, but say less. Twelve and nine and four steals tonight. That felt like like that felt like money. Good, no, nah, good school. But you know me, I love it. Come from the mud. I've been here before. <laughs> I'm used to this. Huh. The one thing I'm used to is this coming out the ground. It's light. You also got to play against James Harden tonight. Yeah, not not one bucket on me. And uh, you were guarding him coming over half court. There was like a little like jostle. You came out laughing. He came out kind of laughing. Yeah. What, what was that all about? You got to think like, so me, beer, man, I started my career off of beer. Always right. bro. Right. Always bro. Right. I make move in the middle. He likes to left step back, pull back. I make move, right step back, pull back, hit it. Look at him. He laugh. Oh, yeah. You see, I'm locked the fuck in right now. He, where you get that from? I, me. You forgot? I told you about the step back. You asked me why I'm stepping back so much when I came overseas. So that was fun. The interaction was great. We, it was it was all lost in the art of basketball today. It was great. It was great. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's doing his thing. He's getting his foul calls. You know, he as an artist. Great wine. Oh. Yeah, great wine. He got great wine out. I didn't realize that he was a uh, uh, sommelier. Yeah, 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 he got great wine out. Y'all go check it out. James Hard wine. Yeah. What what kind of wines does he have? I was listening. I don't know. I know man got wine. I'm just trying to show love. That's fucking yeah, nice of you. Right. You were also uh, talking. Uh, you were also talking to Kawhi Leonard on the free throw line. Yeah. Yeah, you like that. I saw you just and come up and say something to him. And, and, and it's fucked up because I didn't even get a bucket on him, man. I'm so mad I didn't even get a bucket on him today. Like, I got a bucket on Paul George. I got a bucket on Beard. You feel me? Like, I got a bucket. I float on Zoo. Like, I didn't even get a bucket on him. First play, he turned my shit over. I'm mad as hell. So he go to free throw line. Fourth quarter free throw. He goes, oh, okay, cool. Perfect time. I go up, grab him. Hey, man, give me one, bro. Oh, hey, yeah, miss this motherfucker for me. He trying to stay locked in. Oh, all right, I got his ass. All right, you know, I ain't talked to him all game. He ain't heard my voice all game. He go up that clank. I love game. <laughs> Shout out to Kawhi, man. Shout out to Germ, too, man. Yeah, yeah. We owe you one for sure. Yeah. That was love. I mean, the crowd was fucking rocking I didn't, it's, it's crazy. We, we was talking about it before we were uh, shooting the pot. I'm so locked in. I hear nothing but silence in my head. I hear ball dribble. That's exactly what I hear. CZ shoes squeaking. That's the only thing I hear in my head. I go to y'all like, yo, was it loud in that bitch? Because I'm watching the highlights. That bitch was electric. When they do the bricking for chicken? Ooh, um, uh, the motherfuckers got fed today. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, motherfucker got good wing today. There was a genocide yeah, of chickens off good that Good ranch sauce getting dipped. Good blue cheese getting dipped. Yeah, give me a uh, good wing. Like, that was maybe one of the loudest I've ever heard uh stadium. And it's just a wholesome crowd. It's like a defense. But they just mean it. There's no sarcasm to it. It's just they're just screaming at the hey, top of their a, lungs. We play a pretty brand of basketball. It really guys. is it nice. It really is. Our defense is elite. No, I mean, well... Since the All-Star break, I don't want to pump your Elite. tires. Elite. Number one defense since the trade. Elite. Remember, Rex was the coach. I gave Rex argument. Rex thinks he gave me. So, What did you give him? Tell us exactly what you gave him. So the him. defense is built off a of low man. Okay. All right. But the rotations was different. Right. I've always say, like, I'd rather rotate down on a player than up to a person. You rotate up, you can kind of, it's going to be at the offensive guy's advantage. But you rotate down on a guy, that that really seems like a guy's trying to run you off, so you can really only send a guy one time. But if you play at the baseline, you can actually use baseline as defender. Put the, the rotation guy who's ever in the corner, have him help, invite, invite the corner pass. Don't take away the corner pass, because if you take away the corner pass, the, the rotation from the wing to the next defender, it's impossible. It's going to be wide open shots. Invite it. A lot of people don't know how to invite it, right? So that means sit on the wing for a little bit until he releases it. It's, it means invite it. Run that down, because the only thing a person can do in the corner is either shoot, he got the sideline and the baseline, which are two defenders. 
Like, play basketball. It's two defenders out there. Use those against him. You're closing down on him. Send him back to where the low man was where he just left that. By that time, it should be two, three seconds on the clock. You got to, you know. So, yeah, yeah, elite, elite basketball elite. IQ. Yeah, elite. People don't know. Elite. People act like, oh, Pat Bev had, brings a, a lot of energy no, to his team. they have no clue. Elite. Elite. Then you know me. I'm on shit like, okay, hey, listen. Y'all know that we got third quarter. I'm like, fellas, y'all know what this team do. They take away corner three. So, if you're a big-time three-point shooter, bees, get to the wing. Get out of the corner. Put somebody else in the corner. And where's A.J. Green hitting his threes swing, from? Swing, swing. Boom. Swing, swing. Boom. You got to think. Teams like to take away corners. Like, I know the game of basketball. I know it. Back, Like the back of your hand? Not the back of my hand. I could be better. I've learned a ton. I learned a ton from, from Nick Nurse. I learned a ton from Fenchy. You feel me? I'm learning a ton from Doc. Now, some new shit he got. So, yeah. Man, uh, the intensity, the level of intensity. Uh, you, you mentioned it a little bit with Bobby Portis, but what you're bringing to the table, what he's bringing to the table. We've been on a nice ride, and we deserve to, like, enjoy it because obviously you know i played on teams sometimes at summer end you don't see those teammates anymore so that's why you have to stay present yeah we want a ton of games right now and we feeling good that's cool we, we deserve that we work our ass off of that we be we're mentally focused we come in mentally focused so like we deserve that but at the same time like let's not get out of character let's respect the game let's respect our opponents but like we're nice as fuck we're and we're deep as fuck we're deep as fuck I mean, last episode when we talked about got the starters. Today. Come on, man. Gallinari ain't played two, three years, man. AJ Green starter level. Come on, man. Like, for real, we got 11 starters. We have 10 guys who actually started over five to six years of their career. They pulled a little okey-doke with the starting lineups, though. Mm. You're, you started. They're <laughs> like, Pat Connaughton. Yeah. <laughs> Say less. Say less. <laughs> I was like, no, no, no. Die, so I'm, I'm, I'm getting treatment. I'm getting worked on. Doc walk in. He hit. You start. Ah, uh, okay. Where? He. I don't know. Four, three, two. I don't know. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Who I got? He. I don't know. I don't know yet. Ah, uh, okay. All right. James Harden or take Paul George. Uh, okay. You take James Harden in the fourth quarter. Uh, okay. Might put you a little bit on Kawhi. Ah, uh, damn, Doc. Okay. That's all the guys. That's all the guys. Say less. <laughs> Say less, though. That's all the guys. Say less. I got you. You know I got you, Doc. Say less. All right, boom. Yeah. Any good conversations after the game? Nah, uh-uh. Just hi to everybody. It's expected. Yeah. It's expected. We hi go to- out there and be prepared. We got a nice-ass thing. Dang, the fucking stuff. He can fucking burn it. Oh, my God. And he makes free throws. And he can finish, too. Yeah, he's tough. And he's making the right play. He makes the right play. Yeah. Yeah. Dame is, uh, I mean, you're taller than Dame. I don't be noticed. Probably my hair. <laughs> Yeah, Probably my head. <laughs> that is true. How do you just how do you decide how 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 long your shorts are? Uh, I like to go. Uh, I got tights on the mind. I like to be like swagged out. I got to be fly on court. So I got it. Don't matter for me. I like short shorts though. Not too short. Where it's obviously noticeable. Like dames are kind of short. Wow, we're like we're looking at that man's shorts like that, man. They're like uh, he's playing basketball. I'm just watching the basketball <laughs> game. I right, say that. <laughs> it's not for Ken Bazemore. You Come know on, what I mean? Know. I'm, I'm your guest. What else you got for me? Hey guys, let's talk about DraftKings. DraftKings, the official gambling sponsor of Barstool Sports, our official sports book. Man, it's good to be home with DraftKings. And are you all about the NBA action? Of course you are. You're listening to this pod. And if you are, that means. Draft King. That's right. That me- King. I have a. Draft King. That's right. Exactly. I have a very special offer for you with DraftKings. It's called the Pick Six, the newest fantasy app from DraftKings. And here's how the Pick Six works. I want to be very specific about this. Since they're an official partner of the NBA, right now, new customers can earn 100% instant deposit match up to $100 in Pick Six credits when you deposit $5 or more. Do you hear that? They're matching up to 100 bucks over there. So getting started is simple. You download DraftKings Pick 6 app with code Roan 
and then you pick at least two players to choose if they'll have more or less than a certain stat. You think they'll have more or less than 30 points. Will they have more or less than eight assists? You lock them in, you compete against others, and you get a shot at huge cash prizes. It seems like the perfect gambling scenario for any basketball fan. You're really going to enjoy yourself. Download DraftKings Pick 6 app now and get started with Code Roan. DraftKings. Code Roan. <laughs> Code Roan. Code Roan. New customers can earn 100% instant deposit match for up to $100 in pick six credits when you deposit $5 or more only on DraftKings. DraftKings. <laughs> DraftKings pick six with Code Roan. Guess what? The crown is yours. Hey, folks, let's take a second and talk about cars.com. Cars.com, the leading digital marketplace for you to find your next car. And, you know, the weather's getting nicer. Tis the season to step out with something nice and shiny. And if you want to have the best selection of the best prices on the widest variety of cars, you know that you have to go to cars.com. They've been in business for over 20 years, which is truly a testament to their acumen as a verified and certified car seller. The best on the internet. I've heard rumors that there are up to 50,000 cars added every single day to cars.com. I'm checking with my people. Yep, 50,000 cars every single day on cars.com. Truly incredible. You can shop over 2 million cars for over 2 million possibilities. I mean, I might just go and buy a car for the heck of it because it's so gosh darn easy to do on cars.com. Find your next possibility on cars.com. Where to next? The Chicago Bulls game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was an intense one. It was a good one. Your fourth quarter performance in that game was one for the ages. I didn't listen, I'm so locked in. I didn't know I had 14 in the fourth until they said it. NBA posted. Damn, I guess I was hooping. Zero points going into the fourth, 14 points coming out of the fourth. And uh, you were getting it all different types of ways. <laughs> Excuse my hand. <laughs> but someone get this infant off me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. okay. You were tired of uh, you were tired of them. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, we could start we could start with three different players. We could talk about Vuk, we could talk about AO, or we could talk about DeRozan. Which one do you want to talk about first? Oh, uh, you pick. I'm your guest. All right, AO, you said you have to pick up your teammates. And you weren't saying that for the microphones, but the microphones picked you up. And it was almost like you were being a better teammate no. to your former teammate than your former teammates were being to him. No. Oh, that's a good one, but I always show love. Ayo. Not Ayo. He hates that. Oh, that's my bad. Yeah, it's all right. Ayo. He apologized. He hates me. I called him Ayo the first day. He hey, that ain't my name. I hold on. Ayo. Okay, he no. Ayo. <clears throat> so I owe him an apology. So that's ooh, on me. Ooh, bar. Oh, come on. Say less. I'm locked so, in. <clears throat> and that was after he shoved you that you picked him up. Yeah, that's my man. You got to think. He played. He played great game. I'm first one to call him. Fuck text. Call FaceTime. Oh, you was Hoover, huh? He, yeah, yeah, something like. But he, he, he's a troll anyway. He's great, great kid. Well, I feel like you were talking to him at the beginning of the season. So my dog, little bro, it's my homie. Yeah, yeah. little bro, like, like that's my little dog. But he still gave you a little. Supposed to. I taught him well. Next time you see me, give me another chicken wing. I'm mad that you didn't do it earlier. Straight up, Ooh, I was giving out chicken wings today. My bugs was running around me today. Count my chicken wings when we play like these, these, yeah. You come down this way, your ass getting chicken winged. Ha, excuse me. Excuse me. Whoa, whoa, where you going? Elbow to chest. Yeah, you go out the, yeah, run around me. Or yeah, even picks at the top. I saw a coffee. Wing. <laughs> yeah, get get back. Your know, chicken wing is out. Or just like right away, you're just like, yeah, yeah. yeah like chicken a wing. defensive end. But. Yeah, and then on the post, Paul George tried to post me. Oh, yeah, chicken wing out. <laughs> yeah, I don't play. That chicken wing will be, yeah. <laughs> but you were D'ing up DeRozan. That was a good one. You were D'ing up DeRozan, and it frustrated him. They put him. him in a bad position. How's that? They put him with the ball at the top of the key. Right. I average, you can get a, get away with a, a lot more at the top of the key. Why is that? Because there's so much space up there. So they kind of credit the, de- the defensive guy more than the offense. Mind you, it's, a, it's enough space for the offensive guy to get more shit off too. So that's why they let let a little shit go. A little hand grab, a little, oh, I'm, I hit ball in hand. I got to let it go. It's the top of the key. Right. Like, I'm just giving people now. Hoopers probably don't even know that. Yeah, you might. This is a free game episode. Well, say less, you say really less. are. You might be saying too much. Now I know. Okay, cool. I could be super aggressive. I know he ain't going to pull up for three. So I, I, I can be super aggressive. But 
I got to stay down on this pump fit. He will give me a chance. I just got to stay down on this pump fit. He made a move going right. I got my hand on it. Okay, cool. But now I got to rush him now. You feel me? I got him off balance. He a type of player, like, if he gets rhythm, it's over for him. So I got to keep him out of the field. My speed up, speed up, speed up. I poke it again, poke it again. By that time, I'm like, cool, it's only seven seconds left. All right, cool. I just, you know, it's going to be a contested shot. We're going to switch. Or I'm going to go back and double team. Or it's Ayo for open three, contested three by me at the end of the shot clock. I go under. Ayo, give me chicken wing. I even better. Let me go here. Brad, he's trying to get him. <laughs> get him off the court again. Over here. Over here. <laughs> try to kill me, ref. Reveal I saw Paul George try to kill you too. Uh, yeah, yeah. Shit, what are you trying to do? You trying to kill me? Ref. Why they just get to hit me? And I can't hit and say less. But uh, yeah, he, he fell for the he fell for the bait. And then Vuk got uh, upset himself. Yeah, Vuk said something. Vuk said he said something like it was built up to. Me. Like he said the look in his face was like he always wanted to. see. It was like it was a curse word, but it was. Not that one. No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. I ain't going to that. I ain't going to me. Uh, oh, roll up my sleeve. <laughs> bear knuckle. Right. <laughs> you hear me? Bear knuckle. Right. So, no, nah, it was more like. You got scared for a second. Fucking like something like that. <laughs> but the way he looked was like, oh, you had that built up. So, now I'm thinking of my head. That's, that was from that Detroit game in Chicago. Mm. He elbowed me in practice at the time. I was like, yeah, it's a big boys league. He wasn't being a funny team, man. He was being a serious team, but I just didn't hear him. So I felt a little frustration. But wait, watch out, Vooch. I got Big Bobby behind me too now. Yeah, yeah, I can pop my shit down. I got, I got it. You I got, got another pig out there. Bobby! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bobby! You know, he don't play. Bobby don't play. Man, and we went to Arkansas together. We went to Arkansas together. Oh, yeah, woo pig. My boy Bobby don't play. Nah, he don't play. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, Bobby. Bobby. He hit me. Ooh. Yeah. All right, I got to prepare. Yeah. Shout out to Bobby now. Shout out to Bobby, man. Big BP, man. <laughs> but then uh, they get pissed off at Bobby. He's like, he laughed it off. Yeah. <laughs> he went. <laughs> nah, I don't care about that. You ain't, you ain't doing nothing to Bobby. <laughs> You're not doing nothing to Bobby. I don't give a fuck what you say. I tell you is. You ain't doing shit to Bobby. Bobby's game is hilarious. Great. He is such a finishing package. I'm talking about Elite and he shoot corner tray and he shoot tray ball. And in clutch times. I'm sorry. Yeah. Big. Steel. Yeah, steel. Good steel. Right, steel. <laughs> bro, the balls on this team, bro. Right. I can't believe the balls on this team. They had the big balls lineup. They just, Un- unorthodox lineup. Like, I feel like I've never even seen the five of you guys out there no, together. No, no, we know how to hoop. Right. We know how to hoop. But this comes from good practice. We got a, a, a elite coaching staff. So, like, okay, cool. Our defense ahead of our defense. We only did our defense today. Today is all about offense, fellas. We're going to work on our offense all today. I like that Doc do that. Some coaches are like to do defense or offense. Like, no, defense is great. We don't need to hit that. We need we know what they need to do defense. We know what we need to do every night on defense. We just go touch up offense. We did all practice yesterday, all offense. The defense has been legitimately fantastic. This is what happens if they trap teams. Dame. This is what happens if they do this. Like, everything. Multiple teams under under 100 points. Yeah. I mean, that's an elite. Slow feet don't eat, but we've been moving them puppies. <laughs> <laughs> them puppies been moving. Left to right, right to left. They've been moving, buddy. Yeah, slow feet don't eat over here. Damn, Doc is. Uh, I like the. Hey, listen, man. With you, you and your guy, man. I love y'all podcast. Y'all really got it going, man. This, I'm, I'm happy to be here. This I is, really just credit my setup. co-host. I wish you could meet him. Man, the setup is 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 unbelievable. Like for real, y'all locked in. Y'all y'all gonna make a lot of money. You think so? Oh man, I I I. I watched a ton of podcasts. Ain't ain't nothing like it, like y'all's. I mean, it's different. The amount of knowledge and the the yeah. caliber of guests we have yeah. is Thanks really impressive. Us. No, I, I mean, I, we're I appreciate our booking team for reaching out and yeah, getting you because bro. this is what we call a big fish in the industry. And I came for the free. <laughs> You didn't, have to, you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that. the game. You didn't have to do yeah, that. Yeah, man, I fuck with the pod the long way. Yeah, for real, y'all, Pat Bear fans, Milwaukee Bucks fans, fucking. Basketball fans, subscribe to the pod. Bro, I saw they have the, the, the jersey in the store already in Milwaukee. They did? They have the jersey in the store I'm already. Saying, what took Philly so long? But Philly show love. It was only NB and uh, Maxi in there. They put Pat, they, they put me in the corner. Motherfuckers bought them, though. Yeah. Say what you want. Flying off the shelves. So they got the Pat Bears out in Milwaukee? Yes. Get you a Pat Bear, man. Send it to me or send it to the uh, 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 the Pat Bear pod with Ron. DM them. Picture of the jerseys, we're going to make a nice collage. A beautiful collage. Yeah, yeah, I like that. It's the I least like that we could do. I mean, I kind of want to talk about is Charlotte. This the, is this the mic that Pat Bev uses? The gold one. And that's real gold, too. 
Yeah. Uh, so my, I want the only thing I have to say about Charlotte is, man, they're stealing fucking stats from you. What? Not sure, sure, sure. You, you, you text me that. After the game. I was pissed off. You felt off. like I had to like, have like six and five, six and rebounds. No, there like was five. more rebounds that you did it that that you there was rebounds and assists that didn't go into the stat sheet, okay. and I was fucking salty you know, about we don't it. Play for the numbers. I know you don't, but I was just pissed off because numbers to a box score watcher, casual fan who doesn't know about the intensity, the knowledge, and the basketball acumen, the numbers are all those people have to go by. Oh, that's true. And so when n- numbers aren't showing up, when it's a clear rebound that's yours or an assist that's clearly yours. I'm not, you know me, I'm not in it for the for I the guess numbers. a win is, a, is all the numbers you I need. I don't give a fuck about that, man. Undefeated numbers since the numbers. All-Star break. Yeah. That's a number. Those numbers. Undefeated since the All-Star break. I feel like you've been like manifesting. Hey, you know what? Hey, listen, true story. Um, you guys pulled up on me in Milwaukee, right? And I did, I took this yoga class, right? And my girl was so pissed. She was so, oh, she was hot. She was running why I didn't take her, right? And the reason why I didn't take her, because I wanted to, like, I wanted to experience this by myself. I wanted to get in the zone. I wanted to do some hot yoga. I wanted to clear my mind out. Mind you, I went there for the flexibility and the great sweat, right? I didn't know what all came with it. I go in there. Lady goes, release everything that was in this past week. Start fresh. Right. So since then, I've been doing a, a every Sunday type of thing, Monday type of thing. I go start of the week. I write my schedule down, obviously, because I have a ton of shit to do. I have a podcast. Feel me? I, I'm I, I'm still a father, obviously. You know, and partner. I, right. So uh, you know, I got someone I love dearly. So I gotta I gotta juggle a lot. So I plan it out, see it. So I've been writing my shit out, and I I wrote out the last week Charlotte and. In those games, in the Bulls games, and I wrote some next to it like, "You gonna have a sick game." Oh man, I'm so proud of you. Go kill it, right? And I did it this week. We got those papers. Yeah, we got them right here. I think we got them for proof, so everybody think I'm capping. It's it, it, it's another one too. So this was this was last week. This was February 27th. right here. Damn. I label game. I let you this 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 the the, the circle part. You're going to play a great game. You're going to have a sick game. You're going to kill it today. Damn. And then sure enough, sick game, great game. Bulls game on the back-to-back. And you killed it that and day. I, and I wrote back-to-back because I know how important back-to-backs are. So I wanted to remind myself, yeah, you're on the back-to-back, but it still don't matter. Right? And so this week, I go, cool. It's today's, you know, it was Monday, March 4th. We had a game. And I go shoot out the pod. Shoot pot right out there. I highlight, I'm so proud of you. You play so well, you hooped. Damn. Yeah. Speak that shit into existence. You got to. Right? You got to. I've been reading this book, Tool of Titans, man. Y'all got to read it. It's inspiring. It's really inspiring. I've been reading this. Here you go, Seth. Thank you. And uh, you know, 90% of the greats, they, they write it down, they see it, they repeat it. They see it, they see it, they see it, they repeat it. They repeat it, they see it. Speak it to existence. Yeah, so like. That's why I'm speaking you and um you and Pat Bell. I'm speaking y'all shit into existence. Y'all gonna get 270 million. What y'all gonna do with that shit? That sounds light to me, honestly. I heard y'all get one of the homes. Some, somebody just told me first thing y'all buying is one of the producers a, a pilot. I mean a, a jet. A jet? Yeah. Say so y'all gonna call it the Tyler. <laughs> is that true? Somebody <laughs> told me that. They say the first time y'all met. They say yo man, Pat told the man first time met. He buying them a jet, first big contract, the 200 joint, because y'all getting it. Yeah. So he buying them a jet, Cole, and we named it the Tyler. I'm happy for him. Yeah, we might buy him the Winnipeg Jets, bro. We might buy him a hockey franchise with the 270. Man, I'm happy I'm happy for you too, bro. I'm happy for you, bro. I'm well, happy I, could, I couldn't do it without having a great co-host. Yeah. I mean, but of course, the pod can't drive basketball, but basketball can certainly drive the pod. So let's keep the main thing the main thing. Uh, listen, but, but tell them. Where you got that phrase from? You pop your shit right now. Tell them where you got that phrase from. And be Which honest. One? Basketball, don't worry about the internet or what we're doing. Basketball will push the pod this year. I got it from Pat Bev. Before the season. I got it from Pat Bev, the, my co-host. I said, I know how hard I've been working. I know how hard I've been working this summer. Working like, a, like where I've never worked before. It's going to pay off. Basketball will push the pod this year. And surely enough. Yeah, it's it's pretty fucking sweet. 
It's pretty. It's been pretty fun to watch. I had a blast at the game tonight. Like I was like, geeking. shout out to the I was like, Milwaukee God. Bucks, man. Thought you got to think they take chance on me. They don't know. Like you got to think they don't know. Like they don't know shit about me. They know what they see on TV, and most of the time, what people see on TV about me is, isn't the best thing. I look crazy. They think I'm crazy. They, you know. So like you're arguing with people and then suddenly those people are like walking their comments back yeah like, i saw jj reddick was like wow bucks are a great team shout out to jj reddick i told you a wise man told me man a pair of lips to say anything wow shout out to cp a wise man also said that uh daryl Morey lied same guy <laughs> same <laughs> one That's a, he a wise man three people said Straight that now. all we played them next oh shit we do play them next Golden State, don't we? I just, yeah, unconsciously, uh, that just popped up. Say less. Golden State, man, they probably have a chip on their shoulder. They Back pockets. Yeah. You know what that man? Oh, yeah. What that man? About the ass. I'm on that ass. Oh, yeah. Back pockets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back pockets. Yeah, so say less. Yeah, say less. Humbly, though. Humbly. humbly Not on course, like, humbly. no, like, just get lost in the art of basketball, and I just can't wait to fucking compete and hoop. Humbly. Humbly, I can't wait to compete in hoop. Humbly, let's do our let's do a little let's do a little exercise. And let's let's wrap in our good friends from New Amsterdam Vodka for this exercise. Hey, what's this? Oh, this is this is light. This is a hundred. I mean, that's that's like a hundred that's like hundred and fifty ago. hundred and fifty hundred? Yeah, a hundred a hundred thousand subscribers. That was like a hundred fifty thousand subscribers ago. Damn, y'all moving like that? Like that. And and humbly too. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the Fat Fat Pod with Roan Roan, uh, but, Roan. Uh, uh, We wanted to do a little New Amsterdam exercise uh, So we're doing a starting lineup And with the New Amsterdam Obviously uh, Comes from an uncompromising passion for great vodka But we want to do uh, A starting lineup of Let's say intangibles That a basketball player can bring to a basketball team a starting lineup, okay? And again, New Amsterdam Vodka, born from an uncompromising passion for great vodka, incredible vodka. I mean, it's just majestic stuff. If you want to have a, a mule, New Amsterdam mule, you want to have a New Amsterdam martini, you want to have a New Amsterdam espresso martini, you want to have a, 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 you know, a, a New Amsterdam Cosmo, you want to make something cool that we never even heard about. New Amsterdam is going to be your partner because, you know, they, they, they want to help you find your wins. And we're finding our wins with New Amsterdam Vodka. They will take you on a magic carpet ride of Aladdin good style. taste. Exactly. Exactly. But you're a lad in this podcast and I want you to let us know what your starting five of intangibles are for a basketball leader. Okay. <clears throat> and you could talk about yourself. This could be for any leader. Though. I will talk about myself. Okay. I like to think that at a point in my career, I wasn't a great leader. I had to learn how to be a, a, a good leader. Okay. Coach once told me that you're going to be a great leader. I just don't know which way yet, Pat. So I had to learn how to be a leader and that takes trial and error. Right. So, so what are five characteristics then? So, okay, for me, mine is very different. Mine is honesty. Honesty. But I can't be on, I can't want honesty from you and I'm not being honest. Right? So, honest on Tentacumpo over here. All right. Honesty, um a love for the game. Love for the game. Um ability to to talk to Jay Crowder in Jay Crowder's language, ability to talk to Bees in his language, ability to talk to AJ Green in his communication. language. Communication. Yeah. Um, Honesty, love for the game. Communication is your is your sm small forward. And give a fuck. Give a fuck. Like, I give a fuck about all my teammates I ever played with. You care. Fucking, like, I give a fuck. You care deeply. Hey, bro, you need one more rebound, bro. Fuck taking you so long. Get no fuck. Like, for real. Like, go get your shit. Straight up. Go get your shit. Tyrese. I mean, you and Tobias. Tobias. You and Tyrese, both y'all both got to shoot. Feel me? I got off the phone. Tobias, get off the phone with motherfucker Tyrese right after that. Like, nah, y'all need to shoot. For y'all to be successful, y'all need to shoot that bitch 26 times until Joe come back. It's the only way y'all got a chance. Not to say that. They been hooping. Let's give a fuck. Yeah. I'm literally helping the team and I don't even want to tell. And then fifth. What's your fifth one? Fifth quality. We need a starting five. We need our fifth one. Um, saying to Mount Rushmore, my friend, this is a starting five. Coachable. Mm. Coachable. Coachable. You listen. Yeah, like I, I can't tell you what to do. I ain't doing the same thing. 
You feel mm-hmm. me? Like, yeah, I might know something. And in your mind, you might know something more than me. Like, so, like, I got to, you know, be humble and be able to hear you. You feel I got to be coach, but I ain't talking about, see, people, who, even Hoover's is crazy. They, they, when I say coach, people thought coach is. Talking about players. Mm. Talking about staff. Mm. Right? Be coach, it's, a, it's, a, it's not just the people on the court. It's everybody. Everybody. Every single day, every person that's on the staff and organization that's taking their time out of their life and putting it to you, like, you got to be coached by everybody. You know the term malleable? Uh Uh-uh, put me on. Malleable is a term that describes, uh, it's a property of metal. And malleable metals are metals that can bend when you want to bend them instead of just being rigid. And being malleable means that you can shift to different circumstances or bend to different people uh, in a a positive and uh, flexible way. Uh, and I think malleable is kind of a lot of what you're saying uh, in that uh, in that coachability way. But I mean, it seems like you just basically gave people a blueprint on how to find their wins with New Amsterdam Vodka. But uh, that that's uh, that, that was that's, long. That but that was perfect. Oh, you sure? I, I mean, I hope I ain't got nobody in trouble on y'all part. I don't hey, but think y'all so. It's crazy. Y'all been, do- but y'all had McDonald's on it all. Like, how that felt to have McDonald's on the pod? I bro? mean, I'm I, God, God willing, they'll be, be back, back around Amsterdam. because we love we love those guys. Like, y'all been having. I a, bet they'll be back. I, y'all been having a bunch of people like I think, partnerships. Like, I think y'all more partnerships in. are even uh, on their way. Exciting ones. Yeah, I'm happy for ones you guys. I'm really excited about. I'm happy. Well, for I you think guys. it's just that when we get guests like you, I think it's what really. Now, y'all dry. had good guests. Rest in peace, Jerry Springer. That was a great guest. Oh my gosh, incredible. Mark Cuban was a great guest. Great guest. To even be like. A part of even for them even touching the mic. That's a that's a that's a league of its own right there. Really, and, and try, I I mean I was James at, Goldstein like elite like people didn't even see that one. I don't think I don't even think that even people. That's you. You're really locked in yeah, on I'm that. I'm locked one. in. Yeah, I'm locked in. You're, you're yeah. crazy locked in. You know what I'm locked in y'all, about? Though? Y'all motherfuckers so crazy. Y'all had Charleston White on y'all. I look. Ah, no, you ain't never got Charleston White on. And he behaved himself. Yeah, he, he no never pepper spray. Himself. Exactly. That must have been the respect. But I mean, I, I yeah, it, I've been tuned in from the beginning. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm what they what y'all call it. I'm a real one. You are a real one. Yeah, I'm a real wow, one. Wow, belt yeah, to ass. Real. Oh yeah, well, you got to say it in that voice that you be saying it to. Yeah, that little belt to ass. The belt to ass tour. Oh, belt to ass tour. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> that one. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I like to hear. Every time I hear you say that, I, that that does something to me. Good show then. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Hey guys, let's take a second and talk about Game Time. Game Time, the official ticketing partner of the Pat Bev Pod. And if you want to treat yourself to a Milwaukee Bucks game, I have good news for you. You can get front row seats to the belt to ass tour. With just a couple clips, just a couple clicks on the Game Time app. It's very simple. The easiest interface. You pick where you want to sit. You can pick where you want to, what you want to pay. You can sort it by the best seats, the lowest price. However you want to do it, the Game Time app will be your guide to getting great tickets to see Pat Bev live and in person. You want to see different NBA games. You want to go to a baseball game. You want to go to a Broadway show. You want to see a stand-up comedian. You want to go to a concert. It doesn't matter what you want to do. Game Time has you covered with some of the best prices in all of ticketing. It is so straightforward. It is so easy to use. You're going to enjoy yourself so much. And guess what? You can take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code PATBEV for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account, redeem code PATBEV for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets lowest price guaranteed let's get back to the show you went to spanks basketball game hey listen listen man play friday yeah. play thursday uh-huh. doesn't matter right we all trying to scratch the surface of greatness the relationships work-wise for me work-wise relationships dad parenthood yeah i'm gonna get a win and man it's crazy i see him after the game he runs to me, man. And it's, I, I'm Dior head to toe. He Dior head to toe. Loose shoe strings. I say, damn, I love this shit. You got your you got your son in Dior? Head to toe. What the hell? Yeah. What are his teammates going to say? I, I don't know. I don't know. But so, I, 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 okay, cool. I get up. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. This motherfucker on the game. 
I spanked. Come on, man. <laughs> no, bro. He, I'm sorry, Dad. I know. <laughs> come on, bro. You got a game today. For real, you got a game today, bro. You got to lock in, bro. Uh, I saw a clip. Tyler showed me a clip of him. He missed shot, but then got his own offensive rebound. Then got the put back in. And so then afterwards, you, he's, oh, oh, <laughs> he looked like you coming down the court, though. Tapped out. One of God. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Went, I see you spark. Yeah. The Faith the strong girl. Early. Boy, got a chance. <laughs> Boy, got a chance. Check me out, exactly. though. I'm going to give you the whole experience, right? <laughs> we get game and how to, it's the last game of the season yeah right and and based on my schedule but he plays every Saturday I'm either traveling or I have a game you know so like it's hard for me to kind of get to games unless I'm either close to Chicago or I got a completely day off you know so I was able to get a, a game and it's the last game of the season right so for them obviously at that age last game of the season you feel like chip game they go off Right. I know all his homies. One of his homies, Jackson. I'm on FaceTime. He had, he had, Dad, I'm on Jackson's house. He's playing a game. So, you know, I know Jackson and Jackson is going on. Right. And my son's, so he's so excited. Right. He's, uh, every time he catch the ball, he, you know, I mean, shoot that ball for you. Every time he catch son. Right. I'm one of those parents. Right. But he was, at where Steph Curry shooting from. So it was <laughs> heavy. I'm talking about awful air balls. Right. So I grab his sister, you know, half time. I, it's okay, buddy. Keep shooting it, buddy, but just get a little closer. <laughs> just get a little closer, son. All right? Give me a head nod. Okay, love you, buddy. Tell, you, tell your brother you love him. Love you, love you. You know, I walk off. Don't want to be embarrassed. You, you feel me? I call him Spank. His teammates call him EJ. I have to change my language. Let's go, EJ. Man, you just coming off my tongue wrong and everything. So I, I'm in a vibe You've of the You've never tongue. even said EJ before. Ever. Yeah. I didn't even know my motherfucker called him that. I, I learned something new, right? So get a play. He missed. Come in close. He missed. Boom. Get rebound back. He made it. Mind you, we going against a team where it's only like nine of us in the stand versus like 27. So we already looking like, all right, okay, cool. We got to be loud. But no, no, fix the skull. <laughs> Don't cheat the kids. Fix the skull. The skull pose to be 11 to 8. It got nine. Forget it. So, you know me, I'm that parent. I get up. Hey, bro, you got the wrong skull. Yeah, fix the skull. Don't cheat. Don't cheat them. One thing you ain't going to do, don't cheat the kids. That's how I felt when they were docking you rebounds, bro. No. I was like, bro, they're cheating the kids. <laughs> <That's not laughs> don't cheat the kids. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know me, I'm that parent. And I walk up with daughter because I'm, I'm nice, but fix the skull, man. Don't do not do these kids like that. But, yeah, they put belt the ass to the kids, man. They represented. We went to the park after they showed out. Oh, man, it was great. My son smelled like outside. It was great. It was great. <laughs> what do you mean he smelled like outside? You know, a kid run past you. Damn. Smell just like outside. That's what my grandma used to say. Recipe so sweet. So, boy, you smell like outside. Go take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> True story. You little musty, little dirty kid. Son smell like outside. Hopped in. Uh, you got car service. You got Rolls Royce parked out there. No, life is good. He was loving life. Yeah, man. He, that was a complete day for him. Great. That was a complete Great day. Great day. 4 a.m. night. Like, he rock star. <laughs> then I'll give him the jersey. Dad, that way, you missing my T-shirt. I will put on your fucking jersey. You're talking about T-shirt. He got white tee on there. He got long socks. Mind you, he got purple socks. I son, you don't want to change the socks? You no. Why? I, your uniform is maroon. You got on purple socks. <laughs> That's Bucks colors, bro. So what? He locked in. I did it for you, Dad. He locked in. <laughs> locked in. Love it. Parenting is great. That's great. I, uh, anytime or when I met him, he just seemed like uh, such a funny and cool kid. No, no, he's different. He's he's like he he's he's too clever. Like you got to watch out for spank. You know, like spank up. You know, he'd get to school and have crew and crew, you know, do some wild shit. And he like to be class clown sometimes. But when dad's around, he's perfect. But when dad leaves, he know that. Yeah, I got to watch Turns out. For yeah, I got to watch out. For and who's Spain. his favorite player again? <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He li- Then he lied. So forget on TV, get on the pod a lot. I Charles Barkley. What are you talking, Charles Barkley? You <laughs> know Steph, Charles you, Barkley. You is know hilarious. Steph Curry, your Steph player. It surprised me. I looked at like, oh, but I'm gonna ride with you, son. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah Charles yeah, Barkley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you weren't doing no more. No, he wasn't drinking the driving. No, he wasn't. <laughs> no, he wasn't. I know my son. No, he wasn't. He's a good boy. What you mean? Good old boy. Good kid. Yeah, fuck you talking about. I'm really Steph. So yeah. So yeah. So well, you yeah. got to take that personal. You got. You guys see Golden State. Yeah. Road trip coming up. Yeah, go West Coast. Yeah, yeah, man. West Coast, man. West Coast. I, you know what? I be getting busy in the West Coast. West Coast. Yeah, you're the, a West Coast kid, kinda. Yeah, they know me personally. Yeah, yeah. I like West Coast. Yeah. I can't wait. 
and I'm packing certain outfits for West Coast sleeveless shit. Uh, yeah, so you don't have to hold your sleeves. Yeah, and I ain't talking about yeah, say less. Wow, you're not talking about the Dame with the strap. No, no, sure, sure, sure. I'm sure. talking about defense, right? <laughs> um, regardless, though, they talked about it on on the Yak. They said that uh, after uh, a game against Chicago, you guys got to got to hang out in uh, at the office, had some hookah. Chef Donnie cooked and everything Shout like out to that. Chef Donnie. Man, Chef Donnie said that he uh, he cooked before the game. Uh, he was like, "What can I cook?" for pat like what should i cook for pat over there like should, should i make Shout him, out the page should i make him carbonara i texted you you were like hell no nah, <laughs> make me no damn carbonara <laughs> with the egg hell no nah, i want that shit come on man don't do me like that i was like unfortunately pat hates carbonara yeah, hell no nah, with a motherfucker carbonara <laughs> and you said make uh make us uh chicken but it's gonna be there's gonna be black but it's gonna be black folks no 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 the color is going to have color in it. <laughs> and black isn't the color, so shade. A That's shade. Right, right. It's going to be some shade. We're not throwing any, yeah, but, none, they're, but they're, the shade going to be there. And uh, how did, how, so I want to hear the report card on Chef Donnie's seasoning. Listen, first off, Chef Donnie, your food is great. The man walks, he, he listen, he was, he was on, my, every time I come in the kitchen, he, yeah, Pat, you hungry? I, damn, Chef Donnie, I'm, I'm, I'm hosting right now. I'm going to eat, I promise you. We did that like 18 times. But I understand he just wanted me to try his food. Chef Donnie, your shit was bomb. I Listen, I, I knew your shit was bomb. My man spent time in France for free. All last summer. Just to learn. Just to learn. Of course you're going to be elite. So like, And he's about to open up a pop-up yeah, restaurant yeah, this pop-up summer. pop-up restaurant this summer in Chicago. Shout out to Chef Donnie. Like, nah, know your greatness. French food. Straight up. Bro, I got arrested with Chef Donnie. Man, free the guys. <laughs> Fuck you talking about? Yeah, I'm a ride. Free the guys. Whatever y'all Chef do, y'all ain't do that shit. We and Chef Don for a storming court. Oh, y'all got wow. We were about to. We didn't even get to storm the court. They dragged us out. There's oh, video of Donnie oh. getting dragged out by his feet. Yeah, <laughs> Donnie Don. laid on his gangster. back. Yeah, gangster. Yeah, gangster. He said he went limp. He love said he it. learned from Dave. Love it. Love he, it. He went limp. He got dragged out. <laughs> he should have a job for life for that. Yeah, for sure. You get yeah. dragged out on your back. Yeah, I love shout it. Shout out to Chef Donnie. Shout out to Chef Donnie. And they said shout, shout out to Paige. Shout out to Paige. Who shout got out to the, Spider. Got the hookah. Spider was in the building. Yeah. Who was the other girl? girl? Caitlin. Caitlin. Caitlin Walker. Caitlin, Miss, Miss Caitlin Walker from Philly. Fuck you mean. No, uh, she's from Paige, Paige from, from Philly. Philly. Caitlin from Mississippi. Yeah, that's true. Brandon Walker's sister. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. You're locked in. Spider from Connecticut. Yeah. Crew was out. Yeah, the crew was out. Yeah, Spider. Spider's great vibes. Spider's all time vibes. Motherfucker, drop a hookah. No. <laughs> Spider dropped the hookah? No, that was not Spider. I'm not putting on Spider. One, was it Hank? No, nah, it wasn't. Was it Dante? Shade. Shade. Shade? Yeah. One of the black folk. Uh. Drop hookah. Hookah break. First thing I look at is Paige. I, uh, There's nine more? No, don't worry about it. We They told us how to redo it at the end. We we They walked us through a little tutorial that I think we learned. But even if you guys burn holes in them, it's okay. We'll be able to fix it out. They locked in. I they fucking did. love Barstool. They let me throw party. Yeah, Big Cat said that uh, on the Yak, he was like, yeah, we might have a little bit of a double standard because first thing we said was no parties in the office. And then Pat Bev says, can I throw a, a little party? And they're like, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah, you want, yeah, Pat yeah. Bev. Yeah, straight up, what you mean? <laughs> Straight up. It's love. It was you love. Have, it was love. You have the, yeah, you got the black card over at Barstool. They'll let you fucking whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> what do you, you mean like the? Amex, brother. Oh. Come on, dude. Like the Negro card. I didn't know where you were going. I wouldn't say that. Oh, I, I didn't know. That's why I asked. I wouldn't say that. I, I, I mean American Express. Yeah, okay, say less. Okay. Um, but yeah, they, they uh, well, and then the you next day. You wouldn't say Negro? Of course not. 130 years ago, you would have. No, I would have been in Italy. No. The only Negro I'd say was Negroni. I thought you said you were going to say Negro. Fuck. <laughs> the Baltas tour. Yeah. <laughs> Pat Bev has fooled me again. <laughs> Blast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, man, this podcast is great, man. I'm happy to be on this motherfucker. Y'all got to have me back, man. You got me, bro. What'd you come back on? Hey, man, what? When? By, by the time I, man, by the time I want to come back on, y'all go... Y'all go have some crazy motherfuckers on here. You y'all, think so? Y'all go have a show. You I think did, so? This shit give me show vibe. Really? For sure. For sure. For 
Come on, bro. And none of this is for show either. No. This is the real shit. The deal. Come Shout on, bro. Shout out to the real. Deal. Ones. And twos. Oh, straight up. Exactly. And threes if you're shooting from downtown. But uh, what I want to talk about is some NBA stuff. Just okay. quickly, quickly, right. quickly. LeBron, 40,000. Unbelievable. Greatest to ever do it besides Michael Jordan. Great. 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 And Nike, they fucking slogan to 40, 10, and 10 equals one. Even greater. Even greater. Love it. Gotta go Gotta go to baby girl from mom, college basketball, NCAA history. Caitlin Clark. <laughs> All-time leading scorer. Woo! Passes Pistol Pete. Woo! Great. No, no, no. Number one, boys and girls. Like, what are you talking about? My daughter was like, Dad, you see Kaylee Carter? I, do I see it? What you mean? I'm locked in. You too. Uh. And she's pulling up from, from anywhere. anywhere. I'm how she getting that shit off. Like, she got the super duper scope. She and hit she's these bitches so from Japan. Swaggy. Yeah. She's so swaggy. Yeah. Do you see what Nike did with that? They put her on one building and put shot on another building. That's Going crazy. In. Do Don't we. just do it. Do it do now. It now. <laughs> Shout out to Cheese Fry, man. Straight up. Shout out to Cheese Fry, man. But no, Kaylin Clark, Elite. Don't just do it. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Um, right now. Uh, Deontay Murray got a technical foul for not talking to a referee. Yes, yeah, wow. That's Tony. What type of shit is he on? Tony, but that's Tony. You got to show respect to the old, old, you know, old school. How? You got to. You got Tony. Tony come to you. Got to talk back. Ain't no motherfucker. Hey, Tony been around big games, ref championships, out the championships. He done seen some hitters play. Got to respect that. You got to respect the uh, the hierarchy in the league. Got to. Hitters. Hitters. Shout out to Tony Brothers. I don't know if you watch Pod, but shout out to Tony Brothers. Shout out to him. We actually have a referee on sometime on this show. It'll be interesting just to get their get perspective. Get Will son too. Get Will soon. Straight up. It's always playing for him, too. That's absolutely love. Always. Uh, Celtics uh, has won their third game this year by more than 50 points. Yeah, what they was on with Golden State. I feel bad because, you know, once the team do that to you, then you playing next, you're going to be like, damn, they going to lie. Yeah, they're going to try hard. Which is good because we need that smoke. We need smoke. We need, we need all the tough because we don't have that much time to play. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't been knowing each other for a long time. So, like, we need all the best basketball, the hardest basketball, the hardest routes we can possibly get before the playoffs. Trial by fire. We need it. How's Giannis doing injury-wise? Great. Yeah? Yeah, great. But just, you know, injury-wise, man, just give you confidence. So, okay, cool. I can take my time. I have to feel rushed back to, you know, you know, Dane, Dane led us tonight, man. Dane fucking led us tonight, bro. He led us and we fucking followed. Straight up. Okay, they double team. You ready to shoot that bitch? Love, Dane. You know what I'm saying? Okay, swing, swing, coming this way. You know, like, great basketball. Great, great basketball today. One thing that we always love to do on this show. Shout out to the Milwaukee Bucks, though, man. Oh, my God. I heard those fans tonight. They, and, you know, it hurts me, man. Like, we got to do something. We got to do something in Milwaukee. We got to do something because, like, I can't interact with them because I'd be so locked in, man. I'd be wanting to fucking just, fuck, just pick me up, crowd surf me, put, throw me all around. Like, You're literally screaming into the crowd. Oh, oh, I fucking love like Milwaukee, Like a wrestler. Bro. You're like jumping up on the turnbuckle nah, type of shit. I fucking love Milwaukee, man. They let me be me, bro. Let me be me, bro. From there top like to a... bottom. From the GM to the president to the coach to the players to the fucking fans, bro. You know how great that is? I'm able to you go to work and be yourself. And the people are real, too. Yeah, what? There's like a, a elf came by and dropped off some... Uh, some of these, that beer you're talking about. Yeah, shout out. Let me see. Go grab it. And I'm on the road. The Spotted Cow? Spotted Cow. The only Milwaukee beer. The only, people are hitting me up at the game. They're like, hey, I can get you some Spotted Cow. Yeah, you can only get it in Milwaukee. No, 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 this not my show. I'll let you. I ain't sure, bro. Pat, welcome to Milwaukee. Real ones always looking out, et cetera, et cetera. Wisconsin exclusive. Hope you like it. Wow. And that's just people just those are that's like a beer fairy coming by. God, so shout out. Did he say? Did he say who? I shouldn't even say. But they said their their vote for, for, was for scoring pints for this the end segment. Should I crack one? I know you're. I know you're off the beer. No, I'm off the beer right now. Should I crack one? I got to spot a cat. Only only one you can get it in, in Milwaukee. They say. Okay. A well, guy in Philly told me this. That you know where he told me at? A hammer. Rome went there. No, nah, no, nah, he went late. No, nah, he went part of shade. He went late. He just didn't come. Good God Almighty, that's nice. Then you know what he tell me? Bro, are you giving me shit for this? <laughs> me, am I giving you shit for this, man? We out here got the records one of the best motherfucking podcasts, aka shows in the motherfucking world. You ain't here. Lapstone Hammer. Shout out to Lapstone Hammer, man. 
Shout out to my boy Mike. My boy Mike been out the. My boy Mike been been moving, man. Shout out to Mike too, man. It's Mike Wallace, man. He been moving. He happy here now. The gang's together, man. Shout out to Tyler, always in the cut. Shout out to Jordan. And that's all. When it comes to this pod, that's all. That's the only people that deserve it. Yeah. If you weren't with us from the beginning, yeah. What they say? Uh, uh, I'll start it from the bottom. Now we're here. They also said uh, on this song "Vultures" by Kanye West, "Belt to Ass." Did you hear that? He did. It did say something about Jimmy Butler. You think he? You think he knew we was talking about? I don't know. Should show a little there. You just say about that. Give me a little credit. Yeah, that's love. I say let's go. Well, I heard it. Is it Chicago slang? Yeah. About to ass. Yeah. Yeah. That's what people have been saying that it's Chicago slang. Yeah. But it's all never mind. I ain't gonna go too deep. I'm gonna just leave it right there. You don't want to give us any any background? Mm mm. Well, let, let me just say that spotted cow is magnificent. Your whole mood changed like you got drunk that well, off a sip. <laughs> like you done went mellow style, like damn. Yeah. Explain it. Detail. It's, Close your eyes and do it. Let me see. There you go. Get locked in. Uh the bouquet is robust for such a, a hoppy uh a hoppy beer. People are recommending it could go well with orange peels, which is usually a property of a Belgian wit beer. Uh, it's kind of has this really grainy but clear taste to it. It's almost as if I'm uh, running my tongue along the top of some sheaths of wheat is kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this beer. Really nice. Really nice stuff. Really nice stuff. Hey, shout out to Ron. Thanks for having me on, bro. Dude, uh, one thing that we always do on this show, uh, it's actually a body armor sponsored segment. As soon as I walk through the door, motherfuckers just shove the body armor on me. Y'all like to get them sponsors. Y'all show love to them sponsors. Well, we, we also- I didn't even say I was thirsty. Motherfuckers say, hold this, drink this. I damn, y'all got to well, go with on body here. armor, it's more than just thirst. It's really about the hydration that you're getting from it. And with the zero sugars, you're going to replenish your body with some electrolytes. So you can come right out of a game where you're playing a bunch of, bunch of minutes, putting up bunch of stats filling out the stat sheet and then suddenly the stat sheet inside first your body <laughs> i think it's about time to put it out boys what is that first fucking team say that say that stay humble stay humble. first stay team humble. First, first team i mean <laughs> hey first team it might be time for those types of accolades and that's why we're giving out accolades during this very very segment from body armor where we give out our mvp and i think it's only right that we give it to our guest today Mr. Pat Bev, the ah. MVP. He's just really doing all he can That's to love. dig Thank deep, you. go above and beyond. The same way the body armor goes above hey, nah, and beyond with their zero this. sugar drinks. I mean, this is Shout absolutely body incredible. Armor, I got the orange right here. Electrolytes, mm. antioxidants, mm. B vitamins, natural flavoring. Everything that's going on in this body armor is going to elevate you, the way you play, the way you perform. And, and I see the same thing from you while you're out on the court. You are very that. worthy of our that. body armor MVP of the no, week. I appreciate that. Happy for you and uh, happy for everything that you've done for this pod. Incredible guests, really transcendent stuff. And also, let me just remind you, Body Armor Zero Sugar is available in stores nationwide. Head on over to the Body Armor store on Amazon and get yours today. It's on Amazon. It's on Amazon. Love that. Exactly. And I'm not talking about the rainforest. No. I'm not talking about the tall women. I'm talking about the online shopping store. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. This is Get some Body Armor Zero Sugar. Thanks for being here, Pat Bev. This is fun. You're truly a legend. No, this is, this is, I'm happy to be here, man. I'm really happy to be here. I'm happy to be around you. Obviously, uh, around the guys from the pod. Nice turnout y'all got, man. Nice, beautiful setup. Very classy pod, man. I'm number great things for the future. I'm happy for you guys. Hey, we're heating up. No, no, no. Y'all hot. And it's got nothing to do with this fire right here. And the, uh, y'all hot. And you be wrapping your ass off. The merch y'all got. Oh, my God, bro. Y'all did that 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 pop-up lapstone and hammer. That was fire. But, like, the event was nice. I didn't see you there. I seen Pat there. I didn't see you there. But the event was so fucking fire. I must have had the wrong date. <laughs> oh, okay. But the merch is great. Like, the hoodies are great. People love them. People love the merch. The shirts, the belt to ass tour. After the Bulls game, my mom had it on in the hallway. You could buy them on the Barstool store. You could buy them in Lapstone and Hammer in person. You go to the Lapstone and Hammer website and buy them. I mean, th- th- this is a... Uh... I heard a rumor about Stipes. 
Chill, 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 ch